Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We are in hurricane season, and I thought I'd cut a short video uh, to give you some uh, handy websites and uh, tools that you should uh, be looking at uh, in the event that there is a tropical storm or uh, a hurricane that is going to threaten. Now, the National Hurricane Center is in charge of all of this, and you can get to them by going to nhc.noaa.gov. Okay, you really should have this bookmarked as your go-to site when tropical storms or hurricanes are around. And then you're going to go to weather.gov, okay, weather.gov for your local area. So just look at your geography. You click on wherever your zone happens to be. Uh, let's say if you're in uh, coastal Florida, you're going to click on that area and the National Weather Service office uh, will uh, for that particular zone will come up and you'll see all the watches and warnings that are up and it's very important to be able to access this I I'm guessing that a lot of you that have watched these videos know about all this already but there are many of you who may not be too familiar with it and rather than wait at the last minute uh, might not be a bad idea just kind of bookmark all this stuff afterwards and uh, you can uh, have it handy in the event that a tropical system uh, is threatening. Now, when you go to nhc.gov on the opening page will be the tropical weather outlook for the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific. And it will show you on, on the map uh, if, if there are any storms, tropical depressions, tropical storms or hurricanes running around. And if you just hover your mouse over here where it says 2E, uh, this is a tropical depression. Uh, that has formed in the Pacific, and you'll get the basic information on it. And if you uh, uh, click on it, you will go to the Weather Service page that will have um, advisories, uh, estim experimental arrival of, of, of uh, any kind of winds, the wind history of the storm, uh, the interactive war warnings, um, and the, the cone that everybody seems is familiar with. Uh, and uh, the the also we have uh, warnings and surface wind and you know you can play around with all this and it also will show you the official National Hurricane Center forecast track of this any particular system and if there are multiple storms you're going to have multiple links to be able to go to so in this particular case we have a tropical a tropical depression that's forecast to become a tropical so storm off the south coast of Mexico which it brings onto the coast and then turns it westward uh, as we uh, progress through time. So we're here at this point here, and by the time we get to 7 a.m. on Sunday on this particular map, you can see where it has it. So, you know, just have these th 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 these things, hand having these things handy, very, very important. Now, in the top menu, you can find all sorts of other things that you, could, you might want to look at. Um, audio podcasts, uh, marine products, tropical weather outlooks, which I just showed you. Uh, if uh, you have marine uh, interests, uh, there are marine products here as well. Now, if you go to data and tools, you will be able to see um, satellite imagery. Uh, and we, you can get satellites of just about anywhere. So in this particular uh, situation, you know, we have this tropical system right here, uh, the depression that was indicated south of the coast of Mexico. And let me see if I can, we can pull up a loop of this. I'm going to do that right now if it cooperates. So we have a Eastern Pacific view. And you, you can see here, this is definitely a tropical system. There's some turning here on the visible satellite. So there is definitely a circulation uh, that is evident. And by the way, um, I'm just going to go back down. Let's just go back to the Hurricane Center's main page. If you click on the Atlantic tab, which I neglected to do before, if you click on the Atlantic tab, you'll get the Atlantic view of um, tropical activity. And if there's no tropical activity going on, they'll it will tell you tropical cyclone activity not expected during the next 48 hours. And there's also a five day um, forecast. No new tropical cyclones expected during the next five days. Uh, the uh, useful this is where you know you basically start to look at seedling disturbances that may or may not become tropical systems. The other site 
that if you are really into weather, you really should use go to tropicaltidbits.com. It's a great website. There's so many things you can look at besides uh, you also have the forecast models. But if you go to current storms, uh, it conveniently puts a, all the current storms on one page, not just um, in the Atlantic and in the Pacific, but basically all around the world. So if you're a, a real hurricane geek, uh, you can take a look at uh, anything and everything that's going on. Now, what you'll find on, on a page like this, and you've probably seen these along the way, either on Facebook by uh, folks posting them up or on Twitter or um, also being used uh, on television, uh, we have uh, models and what they call the spaghetti plots. And basically because they kind of look like, you know, strands of spaghetti, although they are in different colors. And what this shows you is all the different weather models that are out there and what they forecast with regards to this tropical system. And j just in this particular instance, uh, you'll notice that uh, there are models that actually take this across Mexico and then emerge it into uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, with this particular system now the not all the models do that and, and this i think illustrates the forecast problem uh especially because you have tracks that are very far uh, to the east and some tracks that are very far to the west and some that just go straight out westward so you, this is a i think this is a good illustration of what the forecast problem is um when you, we have a situation like this developing in the tropics and of course you know you have access on tropical tidbits to all these forecast models that are available um, the uh, GFS model uh, you have the European model if you click on these menus here the European model the GFS what something what's called a parallel GFS which sometimes is an upgrade of that model and they kind of run it uh, side by side until they're ready to bring it out uh, as the as the uh, primary uh, model, the uh, Canadian model, something called the NAVGEM, which is uh, I really don't use very much, and uh, the JMA, which is actually a, a Japanese model. And there are other models too. There's the UCMET, the French model. Those you can Google if you'd like to see them because they're not available on Tropical Tidbits. And you have also hurricane model variations that are shown um, with weather systems uh, that you can take a look at. And these give you um, also a model's perspective and and here's one in particular with that system that we were talking about it actually this particular model does bring it out into the Gulf of Mexico over time um, again you know things things we're just using this as an example uh, you might be looking at this video outside of the time frame here I'm using um, I'm here doing this video for uh, the, the start of hurricane season but I just want you to at least be aware that these tools are available. And one other thing that I want to point out before we wrap it up, as we get into hurricane season on uh, nhc.noaa.gov, one of the things that there are going to be some changes in terms of how the um, advisories are written to try to make them uh, clearer. Uh, there will also be a um, model uh, that is going to help you with storm surge and you'll be able to look at tidal surge forecasts for your specific for specifically for your areas if you area if you are a coastal resident so uh, just to leave it at that I, I, I'm giving you you know three basic websites to, to, to use and you know you can always you know use my videos uh, that I'll be putting up uh, that I put up every day you know but at the end of the day when there is a tropical storm or hurricane threatening and warnings go up, uh, the National Weather Service should be your go-to place uh, to uh, answer your questions. What should you do? Um, should I evacuate? Should I not evacuate? Should I, if you're a marine resident, should, what, what do I do about my boat? You know, I'd like to be able to answer all those questions, but, you know, I'm not familiar with where you live. I'm only familiar with where I live. And um, it's very hard for me uh, to give really um, a good opinion, a value to print, uh, a valuable uh, opinion that you could find valuable in order to use um, the, the National Weather Service. You should listen, to, you know, pay attention to your government officials because they know your area and they know um, a lot better than than I certainly would. So um, we'll just leave it at that. 
And uh, we will keep you updated, of course, on all the uh, tropical storm and hurricane developments throughout hurricane season.